Okay, I'm going to do a demonstration today of our ID Wedge BT. Here's the standard ID Wedge BT. It also comes with a uh, belt loop, so you could put it on your uh, belt and you can actually weave it through your belt. And it has an optional uh, extended battery pack. So uh, this unit here doesn't have it, but this one does. This battery pack lets you uh, have a, a battery which we pro provide two batteries, one charges on the wall, this one runs the unit for about 12 hours, and then you can swap units. So if you need to go 24-7, you probably want to get that battery pack. We also have uh, the iPad here in a ruggedized case. This is a, something from Otterbox. It's an uh, accessory they sell, and we have this metal bracket that we insert in the side here, and if you get this, you can attach it to the back using these eyelets and then you can have the, I, the ID Wedge BT mounted on the end like that. So that if you want to have the unit all together with a hand strap then we have this accessory from Otterbox. But I'm just going to do the demo real quick here using a standard, uh, this is an iPad 2, um, this is an, an Adobe file, a PDF file that we uh, changed with Acrobat so we took the standard uh, Virginia, um, this is a Virginia scrap metal form, and we, we enabled all the fields. Um, so what I'm going to do first is show you scanning an ID. So I can hide, hide that, put the cursor right there, scan a driver's license, and you'll notice what will happen is it will type in the information. You can see it typing in height, it skips weight and hair because that's not on the driver's license eyes over the scars, uh, address, city, state, zip, it then moves down to types the ID number, the state, and brings it up to cell phone. So at the cell phone, uh, cell phone or home phone, I could type in, you know, the home phone number um, and hit done. And that completes the top of the form. Who it's there. We also have the ability to put in drop downs on the form. So you can see here, I can enter a person's name, um, on the second page we put in some drop, drop downs for the type of metal so I can you know we can put in drop down menus on, on any of the uh, items that you'd like and uh, another, another feature that's available is signatures and photos so if I tap my finger here it'll come up and say do I want to do a signature or an image let's say I hit signature I'll hit customer signature you know Joe and hit done and now Joe is there another nice feature is the ability to take pictures so I could tap uh, going back to the first form here uh, where is it I can't get back to the first one oh, there we go so if I tap here I can say image and I'll, it can grab an image from the photo library or the camera Again, I can, I can actually take a, a picture of um, someone's driver's license, for instance. So I'll put the driver's license underneath here and uh, hit use it. Use the photo, low quality. And I've got their driver's license now that I can put right on the form. Um, you could also take a, a picture of their car or their uh, license plate of the car. So that's how you uh, save a, enter a form, capture signatures capture photos. Uh, then if you hit uh, you know documents you go back to this form here and you can see um, all the documents have been saved and then you have the ability to move these documents to any one of these services. So um, a little bit hard to see but if I zoom in a little bit you can see the PDF documents can be uploaded to Google Drive, Dropbox and you would take all of your forms upload them to one of these network providers over Wi-Fi or if this uh, iPad has 3G you could use AT&T or Verizon and then someone in another location can print out those PDF documents and uh, you're good to go. So that's a quick demo of uh, how you can use uh, an iPad uh, and an ID Wedge BT to, to fill out uh, PDF documents. That's the end of our demo.